Pastos Biology Topics from the Study Guide Let's look at Chapter 8 in the Study Guide, Muscles. Now this one deals with muscle physiology. You'll understand muscle anatomy in lab. To understand muscles, we have to understand that an animal is built with two parts. There's an outer part, essentially the body tube. Uh, it also includes the limbs and the head. And then there's the inner part. Uh, this is the so-called inner tube of the body. Figure 8-1 describes these two parts. The outer part is the body wall with the limbs, upper and lower limbs, and the inner part is the tube. We call the inner part visceral and the outer part somatic. This is a very useful distinction for muscles and especially when we get to the nervous system. Imagine you took a specimen like a fetal pig. You laid it out on a pan on its back, made an incision in it, and with your hand you scooped out all of the internal organs. You would have left in the pan an empty pig. That empty pig corresponds to the outer body wall. Pick up all the internal organs you just scooped out and hold them in your hand. Those would be the visceral organs, the inner tube. Naturally, it's a little more complicated than simply an inner pipe and an outer tube. But we'll address this as we progress on. One of the things we must understand about the function of muscle is that a muscle can only do one thing. All it can do is pull its ends closer together. It does not push, and by itself, it does not elongate. Now, you'll understand more about all that as we progress further. We can divide muscles into four parts based on what they're doing at a particular time. The prime mover. This is the muscle primarily responsible for an action. The antagonist. This is a muscle that opposes the prime mover. A synergist is a muscle that steadies a joint and a fixator is a muscle that immobilizes a joint. Now don't be misled. We're not saying a particular muscle is always the prime mover or the synergist. It depends on what the action is. Although we refer to these largely with skeletal muscle, they also apply to other muscle. 